everyone, this is Ina with the Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are making pizza. I'm so excited about this recipe to share with you. This pizza was on my mind to share with you for a long time, probably more than a year. It's with white sauce and salad dough crust. When you think about pizza, you're not always with, always associate with something healthy. But this pizza, I promise it is. First of all, it's salad dough crust with some whole wheat flour. It's, it's good for you. <laughs> it's pre-digested. And for people who can handle gluten, this is good. Also, for the sauce, sauce this sauce based on um, greens, a lot of greens, leeks, garlic, onion. It's so much greens. And then we'll top with red onion, arugula, green apples. It's so good, so good, I promise. And this sauce, if you have an F made, the sauce and have little extra left, please save. It's good sauce for anything. I like to put on some fish, um, chicken, or really on anything. Any the most boring meat will uh, beautiful with this sauce. <laughs> you just won't eat with a spoon. It's delicious. Also, this sauce has ingredient like cream fresh, and I have to tell you a little bit later about this ingredient and how you can substitute if you don't have, but this ingredient would make even healthier. Let's do it. First, we're going to start on making crust. And usually, it, you know, sourdough takes some time, but it's well worth it. And uh, I have on my website all about sourdough. I will link below. If you don't have one, you can make, or ask any local bakery, they will be happy to share with you. So all we need, to add salad dough, one cup and one third of cup. Nice and ripe and bubbling as you see. Also salt and water. Sometimes I use whey. If I make cheese and I have leftover whey, that's what I would use. But today water. Room temperature and mix with hook attachment. Next ingredients, flowers, whole wheat flour. And I grind myself and all propose flour. Since my husband gave me my mail for Christmas, I love it. Fresh ground flour, either it's corn, millet, buckwheat or regular whole wheat flour. It's just so incredible, so flavorful, and uh, it, it's almost nutty smell. It's delicious. It's not stale like when you buy it from a store. And mix on medium speed for about two, three minutes, or until the dough starts to release itself from a wall of a um, bowl. Also, um, you can feel like it's nice, soft, and it's still a little sticky, but um, it's flexible and leaves easily the hook attachment. So as you see, it's beautiful. It's still a little bit sticky, but that's how it should be. But for the most part, it's um, released easily itself from ball and from hook. So it's mean ready. Now what we're doing, it's much easier than when we make salad dough bread. We don't need to do four, four times or three times. All we need to do is just cover with plastic wrap, and usually I do overnight, and sit in fridge or um, with slightly wet towels. And what, we, what it does, it doesn't um, create a barrier and doesn't let dough get dry and crusty on top. So then, while yeast can do a job and it can um, rise them dough. So you just stick this dough in the fridge if you have time overnight. With, with, that's what I do or sometimes um, or, or the afternoon if you're planning to make next day. It basically needs room temperature eight hours. Depends on room temperature. If it's summer and very warm, six, seven hours will be enough. Um, but if, we, if it's cold, live for longer. So basically you're looking forward to see at least double, at least double or triple dough. That's when you know it's ready. 
I made this though orally, as you see, it's double, nice and beautiful. Look at this. Flower your surface a little bit, not a lot. You don't want to add too much flowers. Beautiful, soft. Look at this. Gorgeous dough. So now what we want to do, divide this dough in four pieces. We we'll have four pieces, about 10, 12 inch each. And kind of try to put all tuck in, <laughs> all point, all corners in and make like little ball, nice. Sure, the surface nice and smooth. So the pizza prep is ready. All we need to do just cover with slightly damp towel or plastic wrap, or whichever you prefer, and leave it rest for a period of time while we've been working on pizza sauce. Look how beautiful those ingredients for this. Um, sauce uh, it's it's spring <laughs> so we want a lot of greens leeks i love leeks and my friend brought me beautiful young um, garlic if you don't have um, if your farmer's market don't have use regular garlic one half is fine regular onion and some herbs i found this morning in my garden it's thyme basil and fresh oregano oh, smells so good Besides the, besides the good greens, a lot of good greens and herbs, another key ingredient is cream fresh. And I will link below of what is cream fresh and how to make yourself if um, you don't have, if you cannot buy, or you can substitute with mascarpone cheese, whichever you prefer. But I hardly recommend, since it's fermented cream, it's good for you. So it's a key ingredient and I love it. I always have it in my fridge. And if you watch my videos on a regular basis, you see many, many recipes I'm using this ingredient. I love it, my kids love. We never have <laughs> sour cream in our house. We use cream fresh for everything, for cooking, for eating, for toppings. Um, I love it. So let's begin. About one tablespoon of olive oil and good butter, same amount, about one tablespoon or so. And this is garlic. And we'll take an only white part because we won't make white sauce, not green sauce, right? <laughs> Look how beautiful this garlic is. Garlic in. Oh yeah. You can start see some color. Time to add some salt and a little bit of pepper flakes. And just a pinch of red pepper flakes. And we're using only white part. And remember, leeks very sandy, so we need to wash it, um, very well. <laughs> I like to cut and then wash it. Look at this beautiful color. That's all we want. We don't want any more brown than that as it is. But a little bit, it gives a lot of flavor. Okay, it's going on. It's nice soft. So now it's time to add cream fresh. Now we're going to cover and let cook on low, low heat for 10 minutes. While our sauce is cooking, I would like to work on our greens. You can use any herbs you can find in your garden, but I chose basil, oregano, and thyme. You have to use thyme. If you don't have fresh, use dry. And if you're using fresh garlic like I did, don't get rid of it. Keep safe 
and make it from this green scarlet greens you will make beautiful delicious pasta sauce that's what i like to do every spring and um, pasta sauce you can use for many many ways for many sauce or just topping for your fish or chicken i love it so don't waste and all we need to do just uh, pick up some leaves and remove stems stems <laughs> i'm sorry stems and if you never work with thyme you do kind of against and slide off and oregano same thing slide no chop a little bit but it's not necessary we're going to puree all sauce all together anyway so don't do too religiously just a little bit <laughs> let's check on our sauce together nice and beautifully the umami flavor i love to add some good quality parmesan cheese You have to cook this sauce with close lid because you can get you can get loose so much liquid and that's what we don't want. I lost a lot of liquid, <laughs> um, I just add a little bit of water, maybe two tablespoons. Sometimes I don't need it, but today seems like we need it. I would like to taste the sauce as any creamy soup when we make, we usually taste on the end. I think I can use a little bit more salt. Just to balance flavor, one tablespoon of lemon juice. So now let's taste again. Yes, so good. Well balanced flavor. Slight little bit of lemon, salt, pepper flakes. It's delicious. There's so much flavor going on. This sauce I can eat as it is with this spoon. So now let's cool down a little bit and start throwing the pizza. And for the topic we're using red onion, green, apple, goat cheese. I love goat cheese. And look how beautiful baby arugula I found at Farmer's Market. Amazing. Nice and juicy and crispy. I love it. It's like the peppery taste. If you don't like, use um, uh, spinach or whatever. <laughs> but arugula is so good. And of course, good parmesan will shred on top and drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Is your mouth get watery? <laughs> Mine is... While we've been working on sauce, which is took 20 minutes or so total, right? Even cool down sauce. Um, the pizza dough looks nice and puffy, ready to go. A nice flour service. Let's work one pizza at a time. <laughs> My kids are hungry. <laughs> so this pizza will be eaten in no time. The dough is nice and soft, and we see those bubbles a little bit. So we now this pizza crust will be good. Perfect. Love goat cheese. <laughs> I can eat goat cheese with pretty much anything. arugula and dress with oil oil just to make shiny and just sprinkle oh yes and dress a little bit with olive oil just a little bit and some more parmesan cheese never can be too much parmesan cheese look at this Oh my goodness, smells so good, garlic, onions, 
It has so much flame. <laughs> oh, I got Johnny and Tommy to taste pizza. They love pizza. Are you put it off? It's still hot? You do cheese? Can you do cheese? <gasps> Look at this steaming oh, hot. Oh, I fell on that. It's okay. Mmm, yummy. Hot? <laughs> Very hot. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you give it to try soon. Make it more vegetables, your children, and make this pizza for your friends and share. Enjoy. Enjoy this recipe. It's so delicious, so flavorful, and it's spring. So <laughs> this pizza is perfect for lunch, brunch, dinner, or really for anything. And as always, for full recipe, all my blog is in the description below. Similar related recipe. I have other pizza recipe with anchovy sauce, red sauce. It's good, very good as well. I hope you check it as well. And as you know, I'm from Ukraine. So please support my country as you can and pray for Ukraine. Bye, see you next time.